Hey guys, today I'm going to show y'all how to make bulletproof coffee. So for you guys that never heard of bulletproof coffee, it's been around since like 2002. It's been around for a while, but I think it's been a lot more popular now, probably within the last maybe year or two years. So for me, I recently just started doing bulletproof coffee, um, I'll say about a couple months ago. So basically, regular coffee, you know, you got your regular coffee and then you put cream and you put sugar. You mix it up and it gives this nice little creamy sweet taste. So bulletproof coffee, the difference is instead of putting cream and sugar, you're, you put coffee, you put butter, grass fed butter, and coconut oil. So the difference is instead of using sugar, you're using fats and healthy fats. And the point of that is it's really good for if you're on some type of ketogenic diet or basically a low carb diet. The last thing you want to do is load up your coffee with a whole bunch of sugar. It kind of ruins your low carb diet. And also, a lot of people actually use Bulletproof Coffee as a way to replace their breakfast. Now, I'm not saying to do that because I'll be honest, as of right now, I still eat my breakfast. You know, I drink my coffee and then a lot of times I eat breakfast. But, again though, I do eat a lot. So, a lot more than a lot of normal people. So, keep this in mind, okay? So, this is how the recipe works. So, Bulletproof Coffee, you want to go ahead and put two cups of coffee. So, let's say here is... We have one cup, let's put it into our blender. And the trick here is the blending part. If you don't blend it, it doesn't come out right. I used to not blend it and then the coconut oil and the butter kind of just floats on top and you got this oily <laughs> coffee taste. Not the, not the best. Now, two cups of coffee, you put two teaspoons of butter. You want to go with grass-fed butter. So, let's say this is one teaspoon here. See, I, I'm, I just kind of estimated this will be two teaspoons. There we go. Two teaspoons of butter. Bam. <laughs> ah, yes. Sounds kind of, looks kind of crazy. I remember doing this. I was like, man, are you sure putting butter in there? But it actually does work. And it's really, really good. Then you put about one to two teaspoons of coconut oil. So for me, I'm gonna go with, so here's about, approximately about one tablespoon. And here's two tablespoons. There you go. Throw on the cap. And let it blend. Oh. So, not only is it good because to be honest, I've been on a low carb diet for a while now and it works out really well for me. I keep my fats high, I keep my sugars and my carbs low. But when it comes to drinking coffee, I can't really put any cream or sugar because all of it has a lot of sugar. So what I've basically been doing a lot of times is just drinking black coffee. And you know, black coffee, it tastes okay, but personally for me, <laughs> I kind of enjoy the cream and sugar. So I found this to be a really good replacement because it makes this nice creamy taste and actually has like a sweet hint when I use the grass fed butter, even though I'm not putting any sugar at all. So it tastes good, it's good for you because of the fats and it fits a low carb diet. So, ah, let's take a look. Got a little foam on the top. Oh man, if you guys can only smell this. I can smell the butter and coconut. So check this out, you got this nice little cream. Oh, let's do the taste test. So smooth, so creamy, and I didn't even put any sugar. Now a lot of people will come in and put like a pack of you know, sweet and low or some type of stevia or something like that. But personally for me, Having it like this is perfect. You know, it's creamy and it's not bitter like black coffee. And plus, it fits nicely with a low carb diet. So, a lot of people drink this in the morning. They replace their breakfast because this does have a lot of calories. So, here's something to look out for though. If you notice, two teaspoons of butter, along with two teaspoons of coconut oil, got a lot of calories. Just to give you an example, one tablespoon of coconut oil has about 130 calories, which means two of them is like 260 calories. 
the butter is not gonna be too far off from that. So you're looking at somewhere in the ballpark of 400 calories plus. So that's why a lot of people drink this as a replacement for their breakfast. And with the good fats, it gives them the energy that they need to go throughout the day. And also because fat, if you watched another video, I talk about the difference between fat and carbs or sugar, fat absorbs slower and so the energy lasts longer. It doesn't get absorbed super fast and it gets burnt off versus when you, let's say, drink um, sugary coffee, you know, or you put sugar and cream in your coffee. That sugar gets absorbed super fast so you get this spike in energy up in the morning and then it starts crashing down. But I noticed drinking this, you don't get any type of crashes because it's fat instead of sugar so it absorbs slowly and kind of sustains you. So this is how I make my coffee. I love it. I suggest giving it a try guys, especially if you're one of those coffee drinkers, replacing your cream and your sugar with some bulletproof coffee. You can try it with some fat, coconut oil, and grass-fed butter. So try it out guys, see how you like it. More workouts, more nutrition, how to work out to get to abs and get the muscles that you want. Sixpackshortcuts.com. Peace.